This is your homework helper, Mrs. Anderson. Today I will help you with rewriting number sentences. We're going to rewrite each number sentence using numerals and symbols. So basically what we're doing is writing an expression. Okay. So let's look at the first one. Find four less than the sum of two and five. Find four less means to minus. And here we're going to do the sum of five and two. Okay. So, we'll have 5 plus 2 here, but this is find 4 less than this number. So we can't do 4 minus 5 plus 2. That wouldn't be 4 less. So we're going to take 5 plus 2, and we'll put it in parentheses to show to do that first, and then subtract 4. So that is the answer for number 1. Number seven, find, number two, find seven times as many as nine divided by four. This is similar as like this one was because I'm finding seven times as many as this part. So this is the first part that I need to do and then do this. So what I will do is, okay, nine divided by four, nine divided by four, and that answer would not, um, we wouldn't get a, an equal answer. It wouldn't come out equally. It would end up being a fraction. But we're just doing expressions, so that won't matter for now. We'll put that in parentheses. Then we need to do five times that. When we're doing times, we can put times at the front, or we can put it at the back, and it will still be the same answer. So it doesn't matter which way, when we times, or when we add. But when we subtract, or when we divide, we need to have them uh, in the right place. 6 divided by the sum of 8 and 9. When we say divided by, this number comes first. So we'll do 6 divided by the sum of 8 and 9. So we'll do plus 8 plus 9. Now I want you to notice that this isn't going to work out either because 8 plus 9 is 17. So it's asking us to do 6 divided by 17. That is possible, I can do 6 seventeenths, okay? That will be my answer, but I want you to realize that, um, that not all of these expressions may, when you um, evaluate them, they may not make total sense, but just read what it says to do. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and do this one. Find eight more than the difference between 10 and four. Difference. Here's one part, here's the, the other part, and then make sure where you put them. Divide seven by three, and then add two. So we don't want to add two until after we do this. And that's one reason why we use parentheses to tell us what to do first. Find a number that is two less than 24 minus 19. We'll need to do two less and 24 minus 19. Okay, but the less is minus, and we can't put it at the beginning when it says 2 less than this. So we can do 24 minus 19, and then I need to do 2 less. So I'm going to put this in parentheses to show do that first, and then do 2 less. I cannot put it up here in the front and do 2 minus. That's not what it's saying. It's saying 2 less, which means minus 2. So you won't want to put this in there. Okay. Find a number that is 8 times as large as 7 plus 2. You have your 8 times and you have your 7 plus 2. Find a number that is 9 less than 4 divided by 2. 9 less, that tells us we can't do that first because it has to be 9 smaller than what the other section is. And this one doesn't make much sense either because we're doing 4 divided by 2 minus 9. And that will take us into negative numbers and we don't do negative numbers in fifth grade. But this is the right answer for the expression. 3 divided by the product of 2 and 4. Product means to multiply. And the last one, divide the sum of 6 and 7 by 7. Now this one's kind of tricky because here I have the divide by 7. They are not written the same. They're not written by each other. So I have the sum of 6 and 7. So this could say 
All right, so we're taking the sum of 6 and 7 and then dividing by 7 after the fact. Okay, thanks for watching this homework helper video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me tomorrow at school.